All right. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Hunter Bice. Um, so I'm a mechanical engineering major, and this summer I got the pleasure to work alongside Dr. Guangjing Ni in his lab at the main mag lab. Um, so the title of my presentation is Towards Light Coupled Scanning Probe Microscopy in Ni Lab. So scanning probe microscopy and nano optics research are the majority of our lab's focus. As you can see in the leftmost two images, this is one of our few scanning probe microscopes that we have in our lab. Um, so here, the rightmost image is a scan that we took using this very microscope. So this is a layer of graphite in this uh, beautiful honeycomb-like lattice st structure pattern. Um, so this image is actually two by two nanometers large. So it's four square nanometers. So for example, um, our hair's diameter is about 25,000 times larger than what you're seeing here. Um, each dot in this image is one carbon atom. Um, let's see. So um, coupled with a laser, scanning probe microscopes are able to see quasi-particle excitations um, at the nanoscale of propagating waves, also known as polaritons. As you can see in this image, this is um, pulled from one of my mentor's papers. So this is uh, the polaritons. Um, so this is a unique method uh, and, and it allows us to see light, matter, light matter interactions down to the nanoscale, which is the main focus here at Knee Lab. So in order to take measurements with light paired, um, light coupled, uh, scanning probe microscopy, we needed to be able to implement a laser and a spectrometer. However, when I came, this was not something we were able to do. So I was tasked with making this possible. So I um, developed the skills to use 3D design software online in order to design um, the mounting and equipment usable so that we can pair a laser and a spectrometer with our scanning probe microscope. So as you can see here, this is one of the, one of the few designs that I um, sketched up online this summer. Um, so this will be able, this will allow us to pair um, a laser and a spectrometer with the cart. So I, this came, I came up with this from scratch, talking with my mentor about the designs and specifications that we needed. Um, so you can see here um, that we have this, this is the cart that I ended up designing that we're going to be mounting our spectrometer, our laser, and a few controllers and other things too. Um, so, it's, it's not done yet, but I will be able to continue working on it through the fall as I continue to help with the research. Um, so you can also see here on the right, this is one of my other 3D designs that I worked on this summer. This is a variable height cryostat stand, which will allow us to use it in optical experiments so that it can be used from the ground paired with an optical table. Um, so my projects this summer uh, will continue to allow our lab to begin collecting more varying data and allow the research, researching staff to uh, diversify and improve their experiments. Um, I've learned a lot of valuable skills this summer and I'm super grateful that I had this opportunity. Uh, I would like to thank Dr. Ni, nee, Sungbin, Kai Tai, and Akash for taking me in under their wing and uh, showing me what is possible for someone who's sort of going into research as a mechanical engineer. All right, thank you.